Hi there. I figure I'd do a um, four year and 35,000 kilometer review of my 2019 KTM 1090R. So I'll uh, link in the description to my original video um, where uh, I did, I think, a 14K review with it. At any rate, I'll link to that. I'll also link to my uh, Africa Twin uh, goodbye video and introduction of this bike when I first got it. So um, real quick, not much changed since I did the last video. Um, did some preventative work at 27K. I did the valves, went to manual cam chain adjusters, put in a Rottweiler pair delete kit, uh, SKF seals and new oil. Uh, but uh, just recently, I want to say about a few months back, got that installed. Uh, uh, cruise control on the 1090R and it's electronic it's uh, fabulous uh, oh yeah uh, sprockets and chain at 27k because they were getting near the service limit hang on okay so in the last uh, 20,000 kilometers what has happened nothing um, I typically do oil changes on this bike uh, every 8k um, Air filter is a unifilter setup that I put on at a thousand kilometers. I did get some Moto Moscow bags from my buddy Ted. Picked up some secondhand uh, Turretech racks and then I got rid of my hard bag SW Motec setup. Also got this little automatic oiler from China, which seems to work actually quite well. Oh, yeah, and not last year, the year before, I think I went to Alaska to uh, Stewart and to Hyder with my buddy Chris. And we're north of Salmon Arm and I hit a very big divot and I dented the OEM rim. So uh, I had to put a tube in it, blah, blah, blah. In the end, I decided to go to a narrower two and a half inch uh, Excel rim uh, from Han Wheels. They were out of Europe. So they basically laced the wheel, give you better spokes. You can kind of see the uh, logo there. Uh, oh, you can see it there now. Uh, and it's a tubeless setup as well. So it's been really good, uh, holds air beautifully. Uh, so yeah, um, really not much to say about this bike. It's constantly putting a smile on my face. I have no reason to sell it, look at anything else. It's been reliable. It's been fun with the cruise control now. It's been absolutely fantastic. And otherwise, I mean, this thing's going to go four times what it's got the mileage and it's still going to run strong. Um, I did check leak down and compression during the uh, 27k service and it's basically one to two percent leak down so brand new motor um, yeah so absolutely nothing bad to say about this bike if you're in the market it's uh, advanced enough that it's got dual ABS it's got traction control if you want it not that I run it with traction control plenty of power power modes um, we're at 3,000 feet um, allegedly, you can bring up the wheel in second gear if you preload it and pop the clutch. Allegedly. Uh, and first gear, yet again, allegedly, uh, it'll do power wheelies all day long at 3,000 feet. So there's no lack of power on this thing and it just feels right. Um, yeah, so great bike. Um, I might do maybe an in-depth review this winter, but I mean... It's riding season, so I don't want to be talking to myself on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, hope this helps somebody. And like I said, I'll put in the links. Check those out for an in-depth review on all the add-ons and doodads that I put on at the time. Pretty much all of them are still on for an exception of maybe, you know, like a new tank bag setup, like I mentioned, the racks. Um, and, yeah, thanks for watching.